Hi, this is Mercy, and today's video is gonna be about Relief 15 furniture, specifically in chairs, okay? Let's start that the chairs on Relief 15 is characterized by curved form, lightness, comfort, and asymmetry. It's replaced the more formal, box-like, and messy furniture of Relief 14. This is because the designers of him design inside the castle oversight more smaller bedrooms and the furniture excuse me the furniture has to be more lighter to move around okay the style had three distinct periods during the early years called the regency the chair continued to be a symmetrical, ornate, and exuberant, but this changed a little by little with a slightly more curve in the top of the back and feet, but the back and arm is still straight, okay? And this is called the rock aisle. At the second style of 15 show influence of neoclassicism and it featured Roman and Greek motif. The last style, because he was more older, uh, featured decorative elements of chinoiserie and other exotic styles, okay? We're gonna talk about the second period because it's like a, the more important and the third one. Um, this period, the chair changed to more lighter, smaller, comfortable. The legs were more curved. The top of the back was round and it had a small ornamental design. The back of the chair took a graceful violin form. Okay? And this chair is called the cabriolet. And now I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna show you, excuse me, some examples of the chair that the designer, um, I'm so sorry, Andre Jacob Rugo made, okay, with Louis XV. Okay, the third phase of Louis XV style, the gradual transition was toward neoclassical had a limited effect on chairs. The basic form remained, but the decoration increasingly took a form of garlands of flowers called Le Antique in a repeated rhythm with opposite the sinuous form of the curved legs and frame. And this is it. I'm gonna show you right now some pictures of the um, different style of chairs of him okay let's see them this chair is called the queen's chair and you can see the hx is no longer exists in the bottom of the legs here is the cabriolet chair and here an example of the bergere with the two cushions and here is the bergere with the wing to put your head on this is with cane at the back the Chase Lounge, the Duchess, and here's an example of the sofa. The other one is called Ottoman Sofa because of oval shape. And here is an other example of a chair with the same oval shape. Well, this is the end of the video. I hope you like it. If it's so, please share, like, and subscribe. And see you in the next chapter or um yes we can say so we are gonna talk about louis 16 and his chairs okay and the differences of the three of them okay see you bye bye